Let's practice the concatenate function in, in Excel. The word concatenate means to add together. Imagine we have an area code and we want this to be pieced together nicely. So here we want the full area code, uh, the full number. So what I'm going to do is type in equals concatenate. I'm going to choose this one here. Concatenate and I'm going to concatenate this one here, A4, which is the 604 number, comma, this phone number over here. I'm going to press enter. And what we have here is we have uh, these two different uh, pieces of information stuck together. That's what concatenating is about. Now we don't have to type in the full function concatenate. So I'm going to actually press delete and I'm going to retry this. I'm going to type in equals and I'm going to click here on this cell and I'm going to use the ampersand symbol. And this is the same thing as concatenate. I'm going to click on the second phone number and now I'm going to press enter. And you can see it does the exact same thing. Now I do want to see one more hyphen here. So what I'll do here is go back up to this formula bar and I'm going to actually uh, add a, so the word ampersand means also we want to add double quote, I'm going to add a little dash double quote ampersand. So we're going to connect these three parts together. The first part is the area code A4 and we're going to connect a dash which is contained within double quotes and then finally we're going to attach it to, uh, concatenate it with B4, which is the full number. Now let me press enter. So you can see that we actually piece it together very nicely. We have a nice phone number here. I'm going to use autofill. Autofill, you see that black plus sign there. Click and drag to do the same thing with all these all in one shot very quickly. Very nice. Now of course, if we wanted to do try something else, we don't have to use the um, simple dash, what I could do is I could use a right square bracket which looks like this and if we want to add another left bracket we can simply say equals and I will type in the left bracket and I will concatenate it uh, so let's try the double quote left bracket double quote and percent which means concatenate with the A4 so now I have four parts to this equation press enter. You can see that we are successfully piecing together different parts and of course if you want a space after the bracket you can even type in a little space here. So let me just uh, erase these things over here so we're not confused. I can click back up here and after the second curly brace, the curly bracket, I'm going to press space and then press enter. And You can see there's a nice space over here. So whether you're working with uh, names and you want to piece together names, whether you're working with phone numbers or part numbers, concatenating can come, come in very handy.